all right hello and welcome back to another video um so today's going to be i think it's part five of the tray build so i finally got the new toolboxes um and some new tail lights because these are ones i put on here the blinkers don't work tail lights a couple of them are starting to go out but reverse lights are fine but yeah so i've got these new ones um i'll just show you this real quick turn this around so this is the new ones the outside is going to be oh god jesus all right so the outside is going to be the tail light and then when you put the brake on it'll get brighter um, and then the middle part is the blinker so i got four of these two either side because i just thought even though it does everything you need it might look odd with just the one so i got two um and then these are the toolboxes they're from fused fabrication so they'll go with the toolbox as you'll see in a minute or with the tray as you'll see in a minute um and then they just got this nice little latch with a key in there and if you really wanted to you can put a padlock through there um but yeah so um First thing I'm going to have to do is take these um, guards off so we can get those toolboxes up and under there. So I might do that and then after that I'm going to start playing with the wiring first before I even bother in about trying to get these mounted. Um, and yeah, so let's get to that, put it on time lapse. So for the sake of monetization, we're doing the fun side is what we'll call it. Um, first, this side has the reverse lights and the um, number plate lights. Alright, so camera died, um, but today's main thing was to do kind of question and answers, but I'll try and get more video of the other side, but basically done this side, what I had to do was cut this a little bit, doesn't look bad I don't think, um, just to make so that the thing could come down because as you can see there it comes over and into that um guard and it was hitting the guard um and then the gaps are all fairly even um and yeah so that's the inside of the toolboxes need to get the key out of there yet and then i put the new tail lights in too which look a lot better than the old ones. Um, haven't pulled the plastic off them yet. I'll do that when I'm finished and then I'll go and give it a wash. Um, and then I'll probably do your question and answers tomorrow. I'll make a list of them um, on my thing, on my phone, sorry. And yeah, just gonna start pulling this side apart now. boxes are on new tail lights are on I actually like these ones more than the old ones anyway so kind of worked out um, now I do like questions and answers tomorrow I'll go through and um, get some questions and that and write them in my phone um, just from you guys asking me on YouTube and stuff but how's a fluke for this so this is where the guards were originally mounted um, 
and I just tried to get the 935 and um, fluke and a half is pretty good all the way around and then so yeah now I go give it a quick clean and yeah I'll do the question and answer for you tomorrow all right so gonna try and do this in one try um, in one segment thing I should say because this isn't the first try um, because I've got a tape measure but basically I have a few, just a few questions that have been asked um, there have been asked some other questions but I didn't want to go through like Facebook posts and stuff just trying to find questions so if you've asked me on um, my YouTube um, a couple of questions on my Instagram they're just the questions I've got in here there's not too many of them there's just seven so we'll go off that um, and then if you have more, I'll just answer them in the comments. So the first question is dimensions. So it's 1650 long um, and 1900 wide. And then the headboard, I do not know. So headboard is 850. So headboard's 850 from the um, deck or whatever you want to call it. Um, now, so what steel did I use? Um, so I used two mil thick, um, 25 by 50 for the sides, just these bits here. Um, and then this part around the, um, lights and stuff. And then we used 40 by 43 mil thick for all the bits along underneath. Um, and then we used a 50 by 53 mil this bit on the headboard as well and then that's also for the pieces that go across on the um, tray we use that as well and for my legs that go down we use the 50 by 53 mil thick for the legs as well um, that guy just was looking at me a bit funny when he drove up but anyway um, so yeah we use 50 by 50 as we'll come as the, like the legs down from the tray so I don't know what you can see from there but these bits here 50 by 50 and then just yeah a 50 by 25 as a flat bit underneath there as well um and yeah 50 by 50 the pieces that go that way 40 by 40 the ones that go that way um i'll bring the camera over after this and try and show you a little bit better um and then for the deck we used 2.1 mil checker plate um and that's also a checker plate it's just flipped around so they've got a flat side and i painted it and I think that's all the steel they used. So I had five lengths of this, 50 by 25, five lengths, they're all two meter lengths by the way, five lengths of 50 by 50 and five lengths of 40 by 40. Um, and then just, yeah, the checker plate of obviously for how much you need to use. So mine's 1650 by 1900. So checker plate was a bit, a lot more actually. And then, yeah, I just cut it to the sizes that I needed it. So, next thing is place that i bought my guards and my boxes now i haven't been asked the guards yet because i haven't posted them yet um, actually i did do one post on instagram but um yeah no one really asked but basically i can tell you anyway because i know i'll get it guards come from a place called fused fabrication they cost about i think they were 850 dollars plus 150 dollars shipping or something so about a thousand dollars um and then the guards i cut them a little bit which um i only did because when i was opening the guards up i have no gap here so it was hitting on there if you leave a little gap there you'll be fine you won't have to cut that um so maybe just keep that in mind if you're going to do the same thing guards also from fu fused fabrication um these were i think 250 dollars not painted i wish i did get them painted because well it would have just been better as you can see it's peeling off so i'm gonna to have to paint them properly eventually i am going to get the whole tray powder coated at the moment um that's another question i'll go into actually so yeah these from fuse fabrication as well fit up to a 35 inch tire um the price in doing it so like i said guards with shipping and the toolboxes was about 1300 
or so, 1400 with the shipping. Um, and then, oh, well, no, maybe about 1300 by shipping. I can't remember what the guards were for shipping. I think it was only like $40 on the, So about 1300 for guards and that. Still, if I went, didn't go to Bunnings for these first five pieces, it would have been cheaper um, because these first five pieces was $50 each and then I went to a place called Ezzy Metal, um, which was a lot cheaper. I bought everything else for $680. These are $50 each, so it's 250 So what's that? It's like 680 about $900, a um, bit more. But yeah, so about $900 in steel. And if you go to a cheaper place to start with, yeah, it's going to be cheaper, obviously. Just don't go to Bunnings like I did. That's a mistake and a half. Um, and paint cost me about $300. Um, if you're going to powder coat, obviously going to be more. So, yeah. Um, then measurement for the legs. Yeah, so this is one I'll have to bring the camera over closer for, I guess. Um, but I'll just roughly do it. So from center of hole to center of hole is... Uh, just off 1100 so it's about um 1095 from center of hole to center of hole um and then this is obviously different for every car like every year or it's probably going to be different so from front one center of hole to the center of the second one is 7850 and then from the middle of the first one to the middle of the last one is 12.50. So I would, like I said, I'll bring the camera over and show you. It's a little bit better underneath it because obviously I can't do it from over there. Um, how many cans of paint? I think I used about, I think it was six cans of white and eight of black because I got both the same and then obviously used more black on this because I wanted to try and make it thicker which has actually been good because it's it's not scratched up and that was the plan is to not get this too scratched up. There's a couple little marks. Um, but saying that, I haven't put too much on here yet. Um, and then the lights. So the lights come from eBay. Just got them on eBay, just searched up um, sequential blinkers or something. I actually am doing a separate video of clearing defects. So if I have to rewire these with um, resistors and stuff because they got defected yesterday. Um, these also, all the lights come off eBay, so, and yeah, that's about all the questions that I've had that I could think of. Um, it's not quite done yet, but um, this is going to be the last video I do of the tray build until I do a canopy build, which is also going to come for this. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all I need to do is just put down some tie down points at the back here. Um, I've also just put this little clip in that um, this jerry can's held off just so I can clip dogs on there or anything like that. Um, and yeah, it shows underneath it and it's just starting to rain, so perfect timing. All right, so if it sounded like a bit of an idiot, it was because, um, like I said, trying to do it in one thing and I did it in perfect time because it's starting to rain now. Um, so this is the 50 by 50 I was talking about as the legs, and then 50 by 25 as these little pieces here. That's just how I did them if you didn't watch in the first one. Um, then uh, 50 by 50 for that way, and then these pieces are 40 by 40. The reason I did those by 40 by 40 is if we come back here, this checker plate actually sits down just a little bit lower um for some reason it went higher here i don't know why along there it's all the same um but and then this back part i also use 40 by 40 just so that because that's 50 by 50 i wanted it to be 10 mil lower so that checker plate sits along there and it doesn't have that lip like this one so if i have dirt or something on here i can actually just sweep it off this side um and what else was I showing you under here? I can't remember. Oh, the measurements. So the measurements for that one to there, from that hole to that hole is what I was talking about for the um, this way. And then from that center of that hole to here. So I can't remember what it was and I can't really measure it and hold the camera at the same time. And then, yeah, that was the first one I measured. So, um, 
I can probably send anyone to the Emrock the dimensions that I used, so it'll help you out if you want to do that. Um, you just message me on Instagram, it's Nick Shepherd Films, exactly the same as YouTube. And I'll happily give you that if I still have it. If not, it's pretty easy to find. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think that's about it. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed the build series. And um, yeah, see what we do next. Thank you.